Today I'm going to start my video off in a new location. All this wood that's been split behind me, that's the result of renting a wood splitter. You, if you follow my Instagram channel, you've seen different posts that I've had showing hauling the firewood, splitting it, and stacking it. And I'm just, ex I'm not really ready for winter, but I'm excited to at least have this much done. And we're going to fill up the rest of this and then over there as well. All right, so today's video is a follow-up on the AccuCut. This I did a week ago. All right, so the Craig Company and I had been talking recently and they sent me a few items in this box right here to give an honest review about. So the AccuCut was something that I recently did and I didn't see in the very far corner of the box this right here. These are track clamps that would go on this. That metal track right there, you can clamp that end and you can clamp that end. And if you have thin enough plywood or OSB, these are gonna be pretty much a requirement. So we're gonna get into that a little bit later. Okay, so before I start this video, I just wanna make sure that you're subscribed and that you turn on my notifications and comment down below and I'll be sure to respond. All right, friends, let's get started. In my last video, I ripped this sheet of quarter inch OSB to 12 by four feet. So let's do that again right here. 12. All right, so what I did is I put the track on it. And so what I have, a couple of saw horses, and I have a two by four running here, a two by four running there, right on the edge of the saw horse. So I lined the track up right here. That there, that there. Okay. Let me position the camera down a little bit so you can see what's going on. Let me grab the saw. And line this up. The blade is gonna cut right along that blue strip. There's a little red line right there on the saw guide. All right, so check this out. When I push the saw down, look at that. What's going on there? This wood, you know there's a two by four right there. This wood is so thin that it's kind of giving and bending and it makes this lift off. And when you start cutting, that can wiggle around a little bit. So that's why you need a clamp. Okay, other pieces of wood, you might not need a clamp. This right here is half inch birch, I believe. So this is, I don't know, it's probably like 35 inches or so. But if I'm pushing on that, I cannot really get this to give. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty firm stuff. All right, and then some other stuff, like three quarter inch oak right here. I made a workbench not too long ago out of this. And this right here is definitely not gonna give. So if this were laying between the two two by fours, you don't really have to clamp it down because that's gonna just lay flat. This is not gonna give. It's very stiff, but it, eighth inch or i'm sorry but quarter inch stuff yeah that's going to give i haven't really even looked at the instructions so let's just open this up first let me see how you open these this goes through here that goes through there and then this goes through all right so the end of the track right here it has where that will fit right into there that groove on the bottom of the track it goes all the way down so you could Pull this tight right there. I'm gonna have to move the camera for you. All right, the lighting's not that great. But this right here, this will slide into that little groove. And you pull that right up tight to the wood. All right, let me put that right on the line right there. And just Tighten that down. All right, so that is not gonna move right there. That is really solid. All right, so this is how the other end gets clamped down. This has a little starter piece right here that goes in the end. So what you do, you slide that into the starter piece right there. And that little piece right there clamps down tight, that little screw. Then when you put that on here, then you can clamp that underneath. 
All right, so let's see how it works with the saw. Before we get started, always wear eye protection. Here we go. All right, perfect, right on the money. So definitely get the clamps if you're cutting thin stuff. I would say actually just get them just to be safe. If you're cutting something expensive, you don't want to mess it up. And the clamps will be like the insurance policy to make sure that things are perfect. 12 inches, 12 inches, right on the money. Okay, so this video hopefully will demonstrate that it's important to have some track clamps with your AccuCut. Sometimes accessories really make all the difference. Sorry, right, if you find this video interesting or informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time. All right, so if you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right. So please click on those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. And if you wanna see what I'm up to throughout the week, please connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. All right friends. Enjoy.